This clip is brought to you by Super 6. It is a game that every football fan needs to know about. It's completely free to play and you have the chance of winning £250,000 should you correctly predict six scorelines from the Premier League's weekend action. You can also compete against myself, Theo and Tom in the pitch side mini league. The code to join that is PTCHS6. You can find that link in the description. And if you win the league each week, there's a £100 classic football shares voucher up for grabs. It's so easy to play. Just predict your six scores, enter your golden goal, hit submit and then you are all set it's a free shot of a quarter million quid so why not get involved there's been three super six jackpot winners already this season and you could be the next ladies and gentlemen make sure you are following us on apple Podcasts and spotify give us a five star rating it massively helps us out enjoy moving on to more chelsea tears poor frank man that, Chelsea. That that picture on social media gets put everywhere. You know when they lose, and it's just like a blown up version of Frank. <laughs> oh, <that was> so <laughs> funny. He can't escape it, man. Frank. Oh, so <laughs> sad. That so poor guy, funny. man. That, lads, Chelsea are closer to the relegation zone than the top four. <sighs> could you imagine? Like, honestly, I know. Could this, you? I, 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 know know, this, I could imagine. I know this season's been crazy, right? But they play us. They play City. They've got. A load of other relatively difficult games, you know. The There's a chance. No. There's every chance. Problem is, I don't think anyone with 39 points goes down. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah but at don't, least don't they say 40 is the magic. At least, right. um, at least he's a club legend, so it doesn't matter if you win any games, doesn't it, lads? <laughs> Embarrassing. It, it, well, yeah, but James Corden appointed him. He didn't. <laughs> Honestly, the, the, the whole thing's in bad. Oh, there is all celebrating him coming back. He was. He's such an average manager. No, he did well for the transfer ban. Give him credit where credit is due. Yeah, but yeah he, he did all right. Everton, though. And he set Tuchel up to win the Champions League. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he Parody didn't. Squad. He didn't set did, anything up. Um, uh, by that uh, logic, did uh, Nagelsmann set Tuchel up if Bayern win the Champions League this year? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. As just, Potter set Lampard well, no, up. No, but Nagelsmann <laughs> left Bayern <laughs> Munich in first position. Yeah, like, no, I Chelsea think, were yeah. like eight for some No, I'm when... just saying like he basically just discredits everything that Thomas Tuchel could do. <laughs> If Chelsea yeah, go on and actually like do have a good end to the season, barring this Wolves result, and they end Did up... Did Lampard set up Sean Dyche if they stay up? <laughs> and they end up... <laughs> Lampard, <laughs> so wait, me out. Lampard does a good job <laughs> and he stays. That, if that happens, that, that will be one of the biggest but what, L's. What's a, what's a good job? What's a good job for the end Top of the half the table. <laughs> what? One place higher? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Genuinely. I'm not even joking. Well, I've got them there anyway. So you say so Lampard stays end of the season. Your Bob's your uncle. They got done. no because they're going to get another manager in, aren't they? Like before the end of the season. <laughs> oh, not before the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mean, put like, it past. No, but I mean for next year, surely you've got to give a new manager pre-season. Mourinho, oh, imagine. Oh, that fin- nice that line a, that Roma still. That second stint was terrible, though, wasn't it? Really. What when he won the Prem? No, no. By the end, I mean, like he end like the, the classic three-season Mourinho situation. What do you mean, sure? Lads, I've got one for you. <laughs> che- you know what the most Chelsea thing would be? Finishing 12 and winning, winning the, the Champions, Champions League. League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I will go on record and say I will never make another video ever again in my life. Okay, did hey, Chelsea they're gonna get, get through against Real Madrid? They're going to get battered 7-0 no. against Madrid. No, they don't go through. No, they don't. If, if Madrid plays, they might. What is, what's missing? Character? A team? Is it a team of individuals? Awful recruitment? How can... Todd Lasso fix this. Uh, get in a proper manager to yeah. f- to organise it and fix it and get rid of players. I'm guessing. Get the no, yeah, they, they need players out and players in. But uh, I think the squad there is more than good enough to challenge the top four. And Buy then a striker. Buy a striker. Yeah, they, they need a striker. So they'll try and keep Zhao or can't afford him. I think it'll be a bit too much. But even he's not a number nine. Like they need a number nine. They need yeah. a big cost. They need to get rid of the curse. Sign so Ronaldo. <laughs> or bring Lukaku back. And he is destined Do you, do you see that to be successful? No. no I know way. you're I know you what you're doing here, but I'm just asking you a question. Do you think that might... Um I think that could with with the some of the players Chelsea have, like some of the wingers they've got, like that uh Mudrick Madu, if they can get the best out of them, Lukaku could fit in that system, definitely. He's not it destined, could work. He's destined to do awful at Chelsea, no matter what. He well, is. maybe so, but I just think the way he was asked to play last time as like um, a target man and be really involved in the play. I don't, that doesn't suit him. If, he's if, if you said could, that's not his game. If you could, if you could have like these flying wingers with a Felix or someone like that, and just let uh, Lukaku be a complete bagsman in the box, Poja, he'd score goals but at mate, Chelsea. You can't keep buying a guy for hundred mil, selling him for ten mil. He's on loan. Mil. 
Send him for a 10 mil. They haven't sold him. He's still there. That's what Lukaku does. He's still there. <laughs> he's got the most transfer money in the world. <laughs> we know Ooh. that's not true, though. Uh, I reckon he's up there. I reckon Neymar. I honestly there. reckon Lukaku's up there for total value of sold. I would but say he, Neymar he... first. Okay, yeah, fuck off. Oh, shut <laughs> up, you geek. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I'm saying a player that costs Anelka, more. another one. Surely. No, Nelka would no be nowhere near Lukaku's. He won't even be hundred mil. Yeah, he just got sold for a lot at the time. Zlatan, I just stop. What are you doing? Ronaldo, like? Cristiano. Yeah, what? he'd be up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you what if you if you were given the position of CEO slash chairman or whatever the name at Chelsea? Oh my god, man! I'm yeah, go if, you, if you were to pl- replace him and you had all his money in, I, buy, world, I would buy. What would you What would you Mbappe. do? I'd sell the club and go. <laughs> li- <laughs> I would. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. With all the right. amount he's spent on all these players, why not just get Mbappe? Yeah, because yeah. that's realistic, isn't it? Like, it it's a good is. solution. It is just a buy good. Mbappe. Buy, it's so, so easy. So they need a striker and you're going to go and buy Winger. Well, they got Nkunku coming. Yeah, Nkunku, yeah. yeah. Forget about that one. Again, he's but, got number nine, though. Yeah, I don't I don't really know that <laughs> it's much. It's like a winger number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like every other player they've got. Yeah, I don't know a lot about him, to be honest. Can he beat him, man? I don't know. Can he beat him, man? If he can, get him out wide. Anyways, look, lads, we need to move what, on what? to my favourite part of the What's show. What's the beef? Is that beef or what? <laughs> no, never, mate. Never. Say good time, beat a man, Sancho. And moving on swiftly Is to it? the boot, boot, booty, boot, booty, booty, boot, boot. Which one do we go with? I'm going to do it. <laughs> You're actually Here's one, lads. Man, you, these, so the boot is all unpopular, unpopular opinions. Yeah, keep saying you guys have sent are these are these viewers unpopular opinions or guests? What's the what's which one's which? I don't really. Uh, know. That's the that's. This is either a guest or viewers. Yeah, yeah, it was on the title. I know who this is, by the way. Man United, Chelsea, and Arsenal, and Liverpool are the big teams in England. Tottenham don't have success. Man City don't have fans. I thought that was going to be Journey and Lescott. It's just a stupid. Right that doesn't make any sense. Stupid thing to say, isn't it? Really. I back it. <laughs> was it written by you? <laughs> no. There's only four big teams in England. Uh, it's just stupid. Yeah, I reckon I there's five. I disagree. There's more than there's more than six. Villa are a big team. Yeah. Leeds are a big team. Newcastle are a big team. Not quite on the levels of Barcelona and Real Madrid. Well, no, you're oh, talking about Premier elite. League, fair enough. You're yeah. talking about <laughs> elite of the elite. Barcelona yeah. in the Prem. Yeah. Yeah. Spurs aren't on the same level as Barcelona. <laughs> so is that so? Unless someone's on the same level as Barcelona, they're not a big club. Yeah. <laughs> so there's only three big clubs in the world. <laughs> yeah. No, in the Premier League. So Liverpool aren't a big club then, or Arsenal? Big aren't... teams in the Premier League are Arsenal. Well, no, no, Arsenal aren't on the same level as Barcelona. So by your logic, yeah, they're not they a are, big mate. team. No, they're not. They literally are. They're no, they're not. Final. It's not even close. No, they are. Barcelona are twice the size of Arsenal. Mm, in your dreams. I think I think Tom's right. Yeah, no, right. No, no. but you, you get what I'm saying. Like <laughs> yeah, Spurs aren't on Arsenal's level. Spurs are a big club, mate. Uh, fucking small club, small fans. <laughs> well, shall I read Shit one? Of, fans. Why are you throwing that over there? Shall yeah. I read one of the viewers' ones? Yeah. yeah. Oscar says, "Oh, this is quite an interesting Please one." Please keep my name anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, this is. Oh, mm. Well, read it out then if it's good. <laughs> uh, handballs in the box should be an indirect free kick. Oh, I think that's... Oh, I that's actually, chaos. That's destined for chaos. That, that's definitely like destined it. for chaos. And I think it would be dependent. I think that could work with... I can imagine... Wait, hang on a minute. Sorry. If you deemed it as... Um, Unintentional. Yeah, accidental. Imagine Suarez. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> on the line, that ball was in yeah. the free kick. <laughs> <laughs> that is on the line! Yeah. In fact, how would you even score that free kick? You'd the pass it backwards. Play? Yeah. Or maybe if it's within... Within 12 yards, it's, it is a penalty. James Will Prowse would score a lot more pens that way, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, but then again, what's the point of having a penalty area if anything inside is going to be an indirect free kick? I like it. I like where he's coming from, though. Oh, no, that's not a bad little... That's, yeah. a, that's a conversation still. To Imagine me. the arguments you'd have, though, like trying to decide if someone meant it or not. I think, like, VAR would go even on no, another no level. No need to get bored with more it, problems. honestly. Like, yeah, let's live in dreamland, man. You've got to make this does a lot right. of admin, so he realises the amount of, like... <laughs> red tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the amount of red tape. Uh, <laughs> Lewis, I want to move quickly on to our score predictions, please. How are we doing this week? Have I had another stinker in a row? Well, you, you're, just... you're counting the midweeks, right? Yeah. So midweeks have been counted, so we have a, a couple batches of games that came in. I tell you what, some decent ones in there. We'll start off with yourself, Theo. So on uh, the midweek fixtures, you got a few correct results in there. You did get correct score of Everton Spurs 1-1. So from that... Michael Keane. You got seven points from that uh, oh, midweek no. there. Okay. <laughs> Reeve, we'll done. do your midweek as well. No. Okay. You got two correct scores. What well up, mate. 
So, and a few correct results there. So you've got Chelsea, Liverpool, nil-nil. Yeah. Leeds, two. Uh, Nottingham Forest, one. So yeah. you've got nine points there. Oh, my God. <laughs> so for the recent weekend's games, uh, the first two games on here, Theo, you got correct score lines on both of them. <gasps> so Man United, two-nil to Everton. Aston Villa, two-nil to Nottingham Forest at <gasps> six points. And then you didn't get many correct results, oh. sadly. So you ended on eight points there. Still decent, though. Still That's decent, good. though. You know what I mean, though? And then Review also got two correct results oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Man United 2 0 and Newcastle 2 1. And then a few correct results, so eight points there. So in total, the standings are right now 146 points to Theo and 144 to oh, Review. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> it's like City and Arsenal. Oh, this journey can all the way. It's going to down to the final day. What was the gap at one point? Like 8 14. Oh, was it? yeah, then I. Missed a whole week. Yeah, he missed a week though. That's a common L. I missed a whole week. Oh, this is good now. Note yeah. to self, don't miss a week. Yeah, got the bit between our teeth here. I'm, ho I'm hoping you miss a week at some point. I've already sent mine in. You are, you're so <laughs> Reeb is so Tuesday. ahead of it. I swear it's Tuesday. Yeah, no, I'm, you got I'm Champions, not, I'm not. Champions League injuries. No, no, not for the, not for the, no, no, no. It's fine.